Good morning, fellow Guardians. So from Tuesday Reset, Bungie have announced that they're going to be releasing all six of the Grandmaster Night Force. So if you've missed one, then you can catch up with it then. But I just thought I'd do the remaining preparation video for the Insight Terminus. Now, this has already been a Grandmaster before. I believe it was actually the first Grandmaster they've ever done. So I'm going to do some old loadouts and some new loadouts so you can sort of pick and choose which one you want to do. But before we get into it, I just want to say that I am now partnered with Drink Wraith Gaming Supplements. So if you do fancy some nice, flavoursome and energetic gaming supplements, head over to drinkwraith.com and use code Kamachi Gaming in the voucher discount code box and you'll get 10% off all orders while supporting the channel as well. So, let's get into the video. Now, starting off with the Hunter, we have found lately on the last few Nightfalls that the Stasis Hunter is really, really helpful. Just for the freezing, the slowing, and it just really, really helps as well. Now, we're tying that with the Aeon Swift. Now, this is a very old, this is like year one exotic, just because they've revamped them. So, they've put these new mods on them, and we always go for this middle one here, the Sect of Insight. Now, the person who's wearing the Aeon Swifts, if they get a finisher on an Elite, they will generate special ammo for the fire team, and it nearly always drops heavy ammo as well. So that's definitely something to consider. We found it pretty invaluable as well. Okay, so this is one of the first builds that people have actually done and actually soloed with for the Grandmaster Insight Terminus, the Ariana's Vow. Now, the Ariana's Vow is one of the best hand cannons for anti-barriers that's the hidden perk within it it does anti-barrier champions now we have tried this it doesn't work but you cannot tie it in with unstoppable hand cannon it doesn't work so you'd need to run a hand cannon with it if you were to go solo or within the team but it is absolutely fantastic for anti-barrier champions and i would recommend it definitely especially with the masterwork so i definitely get the catalyst done you can either get it done shirochi or altar of sorrow wherever you fancy doing it because it actually gives you an extra three bullets in the magazine which is needed definitely for this nightfall now you could do this with three i think when we first did it the first time i think we had three ariana's vowels and it was absolutely fantastic because you can actually use it to take out the rank and file ads as well from range the range on it is absolutely phenomenal so that's just an idea whether whether you fancy using it or not it's up to you you can always just run in terms of supers as well bottom tree void here with the on the Oculus or Sith Coyote for the dodge and invisibility, whatever you fancy using. Uh, and obviously, rocket launchers are pretty invaluable at the minute. Make sure you tie in different ones. Now, Insight Terminus as well is barrier and unstoppable. So, obviously, you've got the anti barrier from this hand cannon here and the unstoppable from the primary one. In terms of shields, though, there is Arc, Void, and Solar. There's Arc Harpies, Void Minotaurs, and Solar Centurions. So you need to make sure you've got all three of those covered as well in, within your fire team. Okay, so from there, we're going to move on to the Warlock. Now, the Warlock, lately, we've found... Normally, we say recommend a well. But the last couple of Nightfalls, we've recommended the Chaos Reach. Now, this has been absolutely amazing at just clearing ads, boss damage, pretty much everything... Tying them in with the Geomag Stabilizers as well. So obviously you're sprinting, you're getting it back as quick as possible. And in terms of loadouts though, this is going to be the second set of builds. So this is the more recent build that we'd recommend. Obviously hand cannons, get one of each hand cannon on each character. Solar Void and an Arc. So I'd, for Arc I'd recommend the Prosperity, Solar, Igneous Hammer and the Void, the Palindrome as well. So that would just cover all of that. And successions, three successions with anti-barrier rounds just to cover that anti-barrier as well, and anarchies. Anarchies are pretty invaluable at the minute, really, really helpful. And yeah, that's basically it for another set of builds. So that's two builds we've done already. You can have Ariana's Vowels, or you can do anarchies, whatever you fancy using. Now for the final one, I've gone for an old favourite as well. One of my favourites, personally, is the Izanagi's Burden. Now this will work as anti-barrier because it's a sniper rifle but it's also one of the best DPS weapons in the game as long as you can consistently get those headshots and the reloads back into the one round. Okay, and if you are running Izanagis, you can always run hand cannons. Obviously, it's unstoppable, so palindromes, igneous hammers, prosperity, whatever you fancy using. Just make sure you communicate with your teammates to who's going to be running Void, Arc, and Solar. And again, rocket launchers. Now, it's up to you. You could run machine guns if you fancy it, just for that quick burst of whatever singe energy you need. But yeah, that's basically it, and obviously the Titan, pretty invaluable, the middle tree void. This is needed for all fire teams, in my opinion. 
it's nice to have one just as like a buffer just in case you need that cover to get a res or anything like that it's really really helpful and it makes all for the fire team as well but yeah that's basically it for the three different builds so you can run the Ariana's Vowels, Izanagi's or Anarchy's now we're personally probably going to be going we might go a bit of all, all sorts we might go one Ariana's one Izanagi and an Anarchy just to change it up a bit but if you guys fancy any diff anything different, if you're going to be using anything different, definitely let me know in the comment section so you can help out the other team members as well. Now we did consider Divinity as well, but there's no overload, so it seems a little bit wasted. But again, if you fancy using it, definitely use it. But that's it from me, guys. Thank you very much for watching the video. And yeah, let us know in the comment section what you're going to be using and how many Nightfalls you've got left to do. Obviously, Bungie was a little bit late with this one because they put the Proving Grounds back on again this week. So we've got two to do next. We've got the Warden of Nothing and the Insight Terminus. So let us know when you guys have done them in the comment section. But thank you very much for this series, guys. That's actually going to be it from me now until next season for the next Grandmaster Nightfalls. So thank you very much for supporting the channel throughout all this, guys. And yep, yeah, toodles.